You're watching The Handyman. It's the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the world. The number one asked question of the week is, are you still working? I am not technically working. For customers, that is. I'm working for myself. I'm doing stay-at-home projects. Um, my mayor and governor say that you cannot leave the house unless it is essential. And specifically, remodeling is not essential right now. Gardening. Going out to get gardening supplies is not essential. What is essential, as far as home improvement goes, is home maintenance. If your roof's leaking and we've got a snowstorm coming or a rainstorm coming, you're allowed to go out, get the supplies to repair your roof. If you've got a, a water leak in your house, you're allowed to go out and get the supplies to repair your water leak. Your toilet's broken, you gotta go to the bathroom. You might not have toilet paper, but you gotta go. You can go out and get the parts required to repair your toilet. They don't want you going out buying uh, paint to go paint the den, things like that. So I got a call a week or so ago. Last time we had a, a snowstorm and the snow started melting, the tenants called me and said, looks like there is a roof leak. Hey, man, we got some water stains coming in in the kitchen ceiling. Today's video is sponsored by Flex Seal. It's a perfect opportunity to social distance myself, but to do something productive to protect my assets. This should look familiar to some of the true fans. Been around for a while. And I'm gonna give you a shot of the uh, repairs that the neighbor did last year. And this, this here I remember, if, if I can find it, I'll put in uh, some video clips. This one isn't underneath my unit, but God, look at that. Look at the water that's being held in there. This used to be a huge crack that was holding water. Uh, this thing here still it's very soft and spongy, holds water. They did seal it up to make sure that it is watertight. I'm just up here addressing my side because this is a, a, a row house with three, three units under it. And it's something I do every year getting up here until we can convince the other, uh, the other two to put a new roof on here. And I've thought about just doing my, my third but it really doesn't provide for the best the best roof job only doing a third of it at a time but um so i'm going to show you some of the, the problem areas this here is the primary i mean you can see this here i'm gonna have to do something with that so my fix for this i don't know if i showed this last time but is to build some of these galvanized parapet wall caps uh, to put over here a little lap all the way down I got to get this sealed up though in case we get any more spring snow or spring rain I'll be using the flex shot to caulk the cracks and I'll be using the flex seal liquid spray to go over the top of it, it says it's good for just about everything specifically roofs and gutters so this is I believe it's aerosol powered so I just cut the top off and you just push the side and it comes right out. Mm -hmm. so this is the one that we're most used to seeing this uh, liquid rubber sealant in a can. You gotta shake it first. Probably gonna put a few coats on this. I'm just going around hitting up some of uh, the old repairs that may have a crack in it. So I've got about three coats 
and you can get this stuff to build up pretty thick and then I'll kind of just give you a, an overview ah oh, this dang bees I know I've got a beehive in there yeah I gotta get that beehive out I think I've got a beehive in here because I've been having bees come in through the bathroom fan this is whoa that's a vent I believe that's a vent for the plumbing this is an interesting one on this parapet wall that's where the only leaks are is on this parapet wall stay in quarantine well there you have it there is my social distancing home maintenance project of the week you follow me on instagram i also did an, another home project it wasn't really a maintenance project but i didn't have to leave the backyard to do it posted on instagram today which will be probably last week by the time you're seeing this. Tell me down in the comments what you've been doing to stay busy around your house. Certain states and certain cities have different rules and regulations about what you are and are not allowed to do. Don't take my word for it. I was just sharing what I am currently experiencing where I live. So tell me down below, what are you working on? And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.